So, we are headed to the energy facility to go face Cupid Foxstar. And no, I don't make up any of these names. I definitely am not in charge of naming these things. Um, the deal with this level is, we have to uh, supply energy to the facility using our electric element while not getting hit by a lot of these random enemies. I think we're going to be alright as far as getting our energy score. And a lot of the struggle is going to come from simply not dying, honestly. Oh. But we can't go too fast. cause some problems. Uh, a lot of where the deaths come from would be related to the boss. Forgot about that one. You're intercepting my electric current. Thank you. And I will take that. Um, this level, I'm not actually going to be able to use it too much, but I do have that leg part that I really wanted. Um, this is just doesn't have to be the level where I get to use it too much. Um, we're also going to supply more energy to the facility by getting these to go in. Actually, this might be a fast way to do it. We're going to start taking better advantage of some of our sword skills. Speed is actually also going to be a little bit of an issue, uh, being able to make that. endanger ourselves too much. Oh. There we go. If you couldn't tell, when you get the power on, the moths kind of gather towards the flame. Or not the flame, but the light. Which is a nice little touch, environmentally. Uh, this mini-boss is not as threatening as you would think. As long as you know what to look out for. Blue means it'll attack up. Red means it'll attack down. Avoid the walls and that main floor. And you're pretty much good. boss is actually, well, there's two main issues. One is the boss, and another are these platform sections. Mainly because of the way they place some of these enemies. And spikes. Spikes don't generally get me as much, but it can be a threat. go this way, slice it in half, because we know we have the health coming. And then we've got a slightly harder version of the power room, because they want to introduce us to these guys. We just try to predict where the attacks will come from can deal with it without too much trouble. That should generally do it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I think we have one larger room to deal with now that the power's back up. I mean, we have a little bit more than that, but that's the main issue. Caught me. Oh, it respawned! I heard it blow up off screen and then it respawned on me. Nice little trick. Alright, I want a little health before the end. 
but I don't want to spend the time. Wait, this is not the right correct direction. Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, it's gonna respawn too. I think it will at least. So we'll see what happens. It did respawn, just don't respawn a third time. Alright, not as much health as I would have liked getting into this boss, which is the main threat. Oh, um, this has taken out a large amount of runs. And dodging the attacks is a little harder than it sounds, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, this one isn't bad. Ah, I waited a little too long for that attack. All right, let's see if we made the cut. It's going to be a little close between time and damage. I took an extra hit that's really going to cost me there. Or it could. Well, a few hits near the end. The time was pretty good. The damage, well, oh, not bad. Yeah, I will take that. That keeps my average still at an S. So, um, and we get the double jump part. All in all, not too bad. So... I will see you for the next one, and the Soul Launcher. And as always, if you enjoyed this, please comment, like, and subscribe.